Welcome back everybody to a fresh episode of Subnautica. Today, we are saying goodbye to Season 1. Okay, so we are back with Subnautica today. And normally today I'll be doing an update showcase, but unfortunately it's right after the holidays, you know, Christmas, New Year's, and we have no real major updates for any of the games I've been following. So, I have been thinking, it's, you know, a brand new year. I want to change things up a bit. I, I've got an idea. I have actually have some ideas I want to try coming up soon, but I've got one I've been playing around in my head for a while. I want to see what you guys think about it, and that is a new season for Subnautica. So, Subnautica, I've been waiting to do a season two because I've been wanting to do a proper ending to season one. And, you know, I've got my base here. We've been all over the, the map. We've done all the different things, and we're all the way at the point where all I have left is to build the rocket platform and launch myself off into space, ending the storyline. Unfortunately, in the, you know, mainstream builds, they have not released that yet. They have some of the stuff going in the experimental, but I don't think you can even spawn the rocket platform in correctly right now in experimental so two updates now that we have received with no change to the final story no add of the rocket platform we did get the new graphics update recently and that's really nice i mean look how much nicer this looks and all that's done is entice me to want to do more in the game to want to play the game some more and there's really nothing else for me to do in the game right now on this season, season one. So I want to start a new season. I want to go ahead and end this, even though it's not the ending I was looking for. It's not a proper end to the season, but it is, you know, we're done at this point. There's nothing left but to launch off the planet and be done with it. So that's where we're going to end it. We're just going to say we're done. We're going to start season two soon. And what I'm thinking, and this is something I have wanted to avoid. I haven't wanted to do a themed day where it's a theme for a specific game. Like far, back in March of 2017, I was already thinking about doing the Forest Fridays and some Nautica Saturdays and then Empyrean. Well, Empyrean didn't work. And then I started thinking about it. I didn't want to do a theme day. I wanted to stay away from locking myself in. But... With some of the changes I've made to the channel the last few months, I've got themed days where I'm not locked into a certain game per se, but I do have a certain theme, like Make Something Mondays where I do building games similar to, you know, Subnautica, The Forest, things like that where I can build stuff, and so on. So I've already locked myself into that theme orientation of having a certain focus for a given day of the week. And I'll, I want to change it up, but keep that going. So we are going to start Subnautica Saturdays. And what that's going to be is Sub, Subnautica Saturday will be Season 2. And instead of just doing Season 2 where I've got, you know, build a base, just go around doing the same storyline, doing pretty much the same thing again, Season 2 is going to be focused specifically on the Cyclops, on this big submarine we get and turning it into a mobile base. Now, I did a video called can the cyclops work as a mobile base and i showed a lot of ways you can outfit it you can see here all the stuff i've done in mine here in survival to outfit it into a proper mobile base but i want to take it a step further where it's not just a mobile base where we use it to go do stuff and then come back i want to actually get to the point where once i build it i start outfitting it like this i move everything from my base into it as much as possible and we abandon any stationary base and take the Cyclops as our base from then on out the rest of the game. Which, of course, will present certain problems like power production or, you know, recharging our power cells, doing things like that. Until we have certain upgrades unlocked. But that's going to be part of the fun. It's going to be good to try it out and really experiment with it. And really use the opportunity to fine-tune how my Cyclops is set up as a base. So if you would like to see me start Season 2 of Subnautica and focus on doing these Cyclops as our mobile base to make that the theme, go and do that. Be sure to 
comment below. Say yes, you want to see that. Leave me a like on the video, and we will get ready to do that. Uh, either way, this is the end of Season 1. We're going to say goodbye to this nice base here. Of course, I've got that little base down there. Where is it? Uh, if I can find the marker for it. Yeah, right down there. My little precursor lava base, which is just... All it is is a few multifunction rooms there for some food production and power way down there. That's all it is. Everything else is pretty much just markers for the wreckages, the uh, Degazi abandoned bases. There's no other base. This is the base in the game. And beyond some stuff that I need to grow, I haven't really needed it once I got everything set up in the, the hot pepper, my big cyclops there. So I want to play this again. I want to start over and just focus on getting to that point where the Cyclops is all we need uh, until we get to certain points where we have to, of course, build like, let's say, the moon pool. We will have to build a moon pool. I know that because you need a moon pool to get the uh, vehicle modification station there and build some of the upgrades. So we'll need to be able to place a moon pool down at some point and that it does have to be permanent. We can always break it down afterwards. But we will have to have certain points where we stop to build certain base components. For the most part, though, we don't need all of this. We, we just need a place to store our food and grow food. We need a place to store our items, our supplies, and we need fabrication. And all of that is provided by the Cyclops. So, yes, say goodbye to my lovely, lovely base on Subnautica. But, you know, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, of course. And hit the like button if you want to see Season 2 start soon on Saturdays for some Nautica Saturdays. Also, you leave me a comment below. Let me know, again, if you want to see some Nautica Saturdays. Or if you don't, you say you'd rather just see me stick with the update showcases. We can do that, too. Uh, but, you know, make sure you hit subscribe and tick that notification bell if you haven't done so. You can keep up with all my content. Because maybe you are looking for new content of some Nautica and... We may be doing that soon. So, yeah. Like, subscribe, and comment, as always. And, of course, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks for watching. Short video just to say goodbye to everything in Season 1. And I hope you guys keep it spicy this week. I will see you in the next video.